Welcome to Seals on the Move, I'm Alex Seals. And I am Rosie Seals. It's time to get your Marty McFly on and travel through time on Spaceship Earth at Epcot in Walt Disney World. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Move. Spaceship Earth is clearly out of date. You definitely noticed that during the ending. However, it is still fun to ride. It opened in 1982. Rainwater is collected on Spaceship Earth and does not fall from the structure, but goes into World Showcase Lagoon, according to Wikipedia. A new update was scheduled, but was postponed. It was going to be called Spaceship Earth, Our Shared Story. I remember as a kid calling my grandma from the AT&T exhibit after the ride. Back then, it was a much bigger deal to make a long distance phone call. Of the high-tech life we enjoy today. 
teorizo men vos i With lessons learned from the Greeks, the Romans create a powerful empire. To move their armies around, they build a system of roads all over the known world. Rome built the first worldwide world, and it's leading us into the future. But then we hit a roadblock. Rome falls, and the great library of Alexandria in Egypt is burned. Much of our learning is destroyed, lost forever. Or so we think. It turns out there are copies of some of these books in the libraries of the Middle East, being watched over by Arab and Jewish scholars. Call it the first backup system. The books are saved, and with them our dreams of the future. the movable type printing press. Now knowledge can travel as fast as these new books, and travel they do. Books make it easier to invent the future in every field, and the result is an incredible explosion of innovation we call the Renaissance. Technology races headlong into the future, and soon people all over the world are sharing life's most important moments faster than ever before. By now, we're all communicating from anywhere on Earth, and in 1969, from somewhere else. To send a man to the moon, we had to invent a new language, spoken not by man, but by computers. At first, very large, very expensive computers, but we see the potential. What if everyone could have one of these amazing machines in their own house? There's just one problem. They're as big as a house. The solution comes in, of all places, a garage in California. Young people with a passion for shaping the future put the power of the computer in everyone's hands. Together, we form a super network that glows with billions of interactions. And once again, we stand on the brink of a new renaissance.
after 30,000 years of time travel, here we are, a truly global community, poised to shape the future of this, our spaceship Earth. Attention, you are now rotating backward for your return to Earth. Please remain seated, time travelers. Attention, travelers. Please remain seated. Your time machine is rotating backward for your return to Earth. For the first time in history, all of us can have a say about the kind of world we want to live in. The choices we have made for the past 30,000 years have been inventing the future one day at a time. And now, it's your turn. Let's have some fun creating the future, shall we? On your computer screen, answer a few questions for us. Then we'll show you a new world, custom made just for you. Ready? in some amazing new technology that we happen to know about. Your future is just about ready. Let's take a look, shall we? Welcome to the future. Or should I say, your future. <laughs> Here in your future, getting away on vacation is a breeze. Your smart suitcase knows where you're going and what you'll need. And with solar power from your home fueling station, you're up. <laughs> Don't worry about the house. A PDA with remote control can take care of anything you forgot. You leave your country home in an ultra-light, ultra-powerful, totally networked family car that can take you anywhere. You've already planned the trip with your virtual travel agent. Hotels, check. Restaurants, check. Guided tours, check. Getting there is half the fun. So your family car will be equipped with virtual tools to teach you about the world outside your window. You'll travel quickly and safely to places you can't imagine visiting today. And the moment you arrive at your ultimate vacation destination, you can dive right in to the future. Or should I say, the beginning of your future. <laughs> so here's to the next 30,000 years on Spaceship Earth. While no one knows for sure what we'll see or do, I do know it will be quite an adventure. An adventure that we'll take and make together. See you in the future. Welcome back, time travelers. Now, we invite you to visit Project Tomorrow, where new ideas and innovations are being developed to make the world a better place. 
Your vehicle doors will open automatically. Please keep your hands away from the doors and step carefully onto the moving platform. We hope you enjoyed this episode. What is your favorite scene in the ride? Also, what ideas do you have to update Spaceship Earth? Let us know in the comments. If you like this episode, give us a thumbs up, share this with your friends, subscribe to stay up to date with our adventures, and strike the bell to be notified when we upload. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.